the best way to rebuild has got to be PK. And we got a guy here naked in monk's robes. I don't know what his escape will be. Will he have the agility? I hope not. I think we should be able to kill him. He's taken so much. To oh my god. Why does everyone on dev mode have a team? Well, I've lost a few hundred sacks. Probably shouldn't have brought that many. Gone. At least let me kill him before he dies. No. Four people for me. This seems a bit unfair. Well, <laughs> it's a battle for Necreals at the moment. I might be able to kill this guy here. He's attacked me. Just like at Superior Spawn. It's so contested. There's only four worlds. Gone. I can make the escape. Oh, I've died just as be the victim showing up to help me. Oh, just a bit too slow. That's annoying. Well, on the rebuild again, I guess. What do I even have left in my bank? Like, nothing at all. Can I get back there and help him? Uh, wait! Oh, I killed him! I just got two more key. I got my key back as well. 20 Laren's keys. Two mil. Oh, telly out, telly out, telly out. Okay, good. They're not going for me. I managed to go back and loot some stuff. Got an emblem off him as well. Oh, it's breach time. This this time we have a roaming breach south of Ardy. How packed is it? Oh, there's so many people here. I need to get up to that next level bracket as soon as I can. It's going to be hard to get points from this. Okay, mage does not work on Vardovis. I should go elsewhere. Starting it off with 15,400 points. See how many we can get up to after this. There's just so many people here though, so it's going to be a struggle. No good loot yet. What am I doing? What is that guy's called Vettian? Oh my god. <laughs> I've just skull tricked myself because I've gone to Blood Barrage. A guy thinking it's a Vettian. Nope. Ah, oh, managed to get away with three emblems that breach and luckily did not die, even though I sculled. Much harder to play dead mode when you're sculled. Got another 1.5k point from that. That's right. Back to Dust Devils, they seem the best for Slayer. Necrils are far too contested. Sigil Vaughn slot? I don't know. Oh, that's the Chin Sigil. It lets you Chin 11 instead of 9. That's not too bad. Oh, Sigil of Swashbuckler. I think that's the melee one. That's the, that's the melee ninja that makes everything 4 tick. That's really, really good. Oh, I'm probably going to keep that for myself. Dust Devil is so good. Hopefully no one comes and kills me. I probably should bank this, but I've only got 26 left. And there is 85 Slayer. I've now unlocked Abbey Demons, which will be incredibly good money. Didn't take too long at all. <laughs> As I finish the task off, I get a Master One drop. Oh, that is incredible. Someone's here. He looks like a PVM, but he's fine. He's just training Slayer. Okay, we should be safe to get out of this. Master Wand. I wonder how much that even is. Probably not too much. I don't think it has magic damage. But overall, we can go ahead and start on Abbey Demons now. 39 Laren's keys to open. We'll open these up before we start the task. What loot am I going to get? Well, 6 mil in the bag, but it's probably not actually worth a lot. Managed to sell all of the stuff and buy myself a Sigil of Devotion. That's going to be huge when I'm barraging Abbey Demons. I'll get so much priority from that. And I also have enough money to buy a black mask. I hope. <laughs> they should be around 1.5, 1.6 mil. One of these will sell. And then we can make ourselves a Slayer Helm. For that extra bit of magic damage. On dub mode, you don't need to unlock it with points. It's just automatically unlocked for you once you reach a certain bracket. First task, first whip. There we go. Money coming in. Oh, a sigil of arcane swiftness as well. Oh, that is brilliant. These are dropping so many tier fives as well. Wildy Slayer is definitely bugged for tier fives with monsters above 100 combat. You just absolutely print them. I don't even got enough space to take all of these. I hope I don't get killed. I've only got seven left. I want to finish this before banking. Oh my god, an abyssal dagger. That's so rare, even on dead mode. That's like one in eight thousand drop right there what is happening <laughs> now that is a profitable task i've even just left an emblem on the floor i don't care let's get out oh let's sell all this so much money 
five mil for the arcane swiftness. Whip isn't selling for 2.4. Probably just gonna dump that in. There we go, two mil from that. We've now got seven mil, and I wanna try and buy myself a Vigorous Chain Mace, because that's gonna be so strong for melees when I go to train them. I don't know if there's any on the G right now, but we'll see how much we can get one of them for. All right, 6.9 mil and it doesn't buy. We'll just leave an offer in. Hopefully someone gets one from Revs sooner or later. What is that? Sigil of Meticulousness. Um, oh, I think this is the accuracy one. This is the one with the 75% accuracy in PVM. That should be so expensive. I don't know if I want to sell or keep this. What am I getting from the superior? Mystic set. Ah, oh, where's the sigil drop? That's unlucky. Another whip drop. Got three times drop rate in this bracket, so should get a lot of these. It's like one in eight. 180 about for a whip. I've just got a mage book drop. What is my luck? Okay, that's incredible. It might be because I'm just killing so many things while barraging, but that is incredibly good. You can have a max gear in no time just from Slayer. I don't know why everyone doesn't do this. I mean, a bit risky in that multi wilderness. Come on, Duradel, give me a task. We are 87 Slayer, so of course we have to go hit up Cave Krakens. I've got myself a full Aram set now with my Master One Mage's Book. Arcane for the faster mage damage and we're just going to go slay some Krakens and hopefully make a ton of money. Alright, firstly we're going to kill one boss right now to get the extra points. Don't want to be doing this later in case our RP cares around because it is a multi-combat zone. Just get this out of the way for the bonus. I don't know if I'll eventually do 75 of the boss for the points. Maybe if I actually go for that. Uh, we're just going to do one for now and then head on to the little ones and try and get as many tridents as we can. Can we get the pet? Nope, but that is three combat tasks done. 18,000 points. Oh, first uncharged trident. have not killed many at all. Straight in the looking bag. I don't even know if I need to bank and use that. A second trident already. Trident number three. A fourth trident in one task. <laughs> I'm going to be so rich after this. I think they're like three mil at the moment. Just look at that looting bag. Three tridents have sold. Nine mil cash that I'm risking. With all of our money, we now can afford a corrupted twisted boat and a shadow. Put these in the deposit box later for when we want to go raiding. Upgraded the mage gear. Now having a cult to use as well. Bought that for five mil. Look at the deposit box. We're getting stacked now. I have managed to get myself right to 111 combat just before a breach is spawning. I can bring my max gear into the next bracket. No risk of being PK'd. Be able to do so much damage and hopefully give me that VLS as a drop from this breach. See where it is and see how much money we can make. Probably a good use of protection just so I can get as much damage, much points, much loot as possible. Going to be using arcane swiftness, augmented thralls, and meticulousness for as much damage as possible, starting off with 20,500 points. A little bit late to the breach, but let's see how much we can get and how much money we can get. There's so few people in this world compared to the other brackets. Not too many people have moved up yet, so we're getting so much loot. Uh, you can just attack constantly, no downtime. As soon as you finish one monster, you can move on to the next. This is brilliant seven emblems already i've probably got more and haven't picked any up look at the loot on the floor it's just crowding the screen wait i've got a trinket of advanced weaponry is that mine yes finally good loot oh that is brilliant breach is almost over now just about any more monsters one last one no VLS for me, unfortunately. I think they have made PvP weapons incredibly rare, so I don't know if we'll even see any of these. No one seems to be getting them. But I did get, what's that? 13 tier 5 emblems. I can probably sell off some of these, buy some sacks, and make a decent bit of cash. Right, let's go ahead. We are a gambler. We've got to open up that weapon trinket. Corrupted... Volatile Nightmare Staff. Not the best rewards. They're currently quite cheap. I think Scythe is currently the most expensive. Twisted Bow and Shadow quite expensive as well. 
but I do think this will come in handy. I'm still on protection, so I can go ahead and do bursting Abbey Demons for free in my max gear without any risk, and we'll even offer in the G for a Vesta's Longsword and hope that buys. I want someone's just got to go have gone from the breach and dump it in the G for me. 27 point, 27,500 points. We got a lot from that breach. That was not too bad at all. 35 minutes of protection left and we're going to run the clue scroll relics to pick up a few extra clues. All those points laid on the line. And there we go. Another whip drop. And a sigil of devotion. I think there's like two mil right now. I bought one myself. Sigil of Gunslinger, yes! Oh my god, that's a range ninja and that is so expensive right now. Oh, I don't know if I want to keep that or sell it. That's like another 7 mil right there. Burst Abbey Demons on protection. Best money in the game. Incredible strategy, right? Let's put in a higher offer for this Vesta Longsword. 17 minutes for protection left. As soon as that runs out, we will be risking it, so we need to go... Try and get one before then. Sigil of Formidable Fighter. The fact you get superiors so commonly and they always drop on the global loot table just makes Slayer so good. Another superior. What is the loot going to be? Oh, that is awful. <laughs> Bought myself a teleport anchoring scroll because I'm fed up of being teleported around the map. Might be a waste of money, but it should just make it all a bit calmer. We have managed to buy a Vested Longsword for 15.5 mil. Right as the protection is over, put that in the deposit box. That is completely safe, and that should rise in price because of how rare they are. Oh, as soon as my protection's gone, we've got PKs. There's a team of three for me at Abbey Demons. I don't know how I'm going to escape this. I'm in combat the whole time. I think... If only one of them has the shortcut, we should be able to get out. Just kill this Abbey Demon. I'll get out of combat and I should be fine. Alright, I'm going to need to freeze two of them on one side and one on the other, perhaps? Oh, I don't have the food for this. Oh, that's a mistake. I can't get frozen off the door because then I'm going to take so much damage to all three of them. I think this might be any dead here. I'm losing so much money if I die. Okay. I, I just don't have an escape plan. I don't know what I can do. How do I survive this? Uh, okay, there's some anglerfish on the floor. But I'm frozen still. Oh, why did I bring so much money out here? Okay, I got some anglerfish. Is that it? Can I get around the corner on telly? I might have just done it. I need to get these Abbey Demons off me. No, they're going to be unfrozen. <sighs> Guy Rim God. Rot will win. I don't think he's a rock guy. <laughs> I just need to <laughs> get as many Abbey Demons on me as I can. So I can Blood Barrage heal more. Oh. I've <laughs> got the solo mission shakes. Uh, how long have I been tanking for now? It's been minutes. I might have done it. I might have done it. Please, please, please. Don't catch the freeze. Don't catch the freeze. Oh my god, oh my god. What am I doing? No! I was so close. I was so close to escaping. I was so close. Oh no. It's in the bin. Unless. Have I just done it? Have I just got away? Don't freeze me now. Don't. Telly, 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 telly. <laughs> How did I live that? How am I alive? Oh my god. Oh my god. How do we keep living from... Teams of PKers. <laughs> I don't even know. Ah, oh, changing it up a bit. We came and done some TOA. Get the first completion. 
I've got to avoid Wildy Slayer Cage for a little while now. There's too many PKs in there. I will get my bonus points from this. No loot. Never lucky. Not even a Fred. But the good part about finishing TOA is we now get a lamp worth I think it's 500k XP lamp. I might be wrong, but that should be a huge kickstart to range. Right, now we've got a few more range levels. I think it's time to go take on the Colosseum, upgrade my backpack, and get the best range cape in the game. Hopefully it's early enough in dev mode that no one's gonna be out here camping me to kill me once I get out. Not sure if we can go back in or not, but let's see how it goes. Just gone for a tank set with VLS, but restoration sigils should be easy for me. Oh, we made it to wave 11. Not too bad at all. Didn't really have to use many supplies. More than enough for the boss. Let's go complete this. VLS has been really strong. Okay, that's a bit to get used to. I'm so used to using Siphon main game, which is five tick and having this four tick melee. The timing's a bit off. It should still be all right. Oh, muck enough already, and my prayer's gone. Oh, don't muck this <laughs> I may have accidentally stayed on a US West world for this. Uh, and being from the UK, this is not the best thing. So those, the prayer dodging attack, that is going to be a little difficult. I feel like react earlier than I usually would, but we got it down that time. That's not too bad. That is a great laser placement. Oh, you're taking. Uh, I had prayer. Why am I sat so low prayer points? Why am I sat so low prayer points for that? Oh, I've just thrown it away. Well, I think it only took about 25 minutes, so that's not the worst. Uh, I've got the glory now. I can teleport back here. I'm going to go to bed and do this on another day because I, I don't know. Dying at the Colosseum is one of the worst things. I don't want to do it again right now.